。就 Nicholas Yu 就係專門研究一個人嘅面相特徵，係咪可以預早顯示出佢日後具有卓越嘅管理才能。Yu 教授由世界最頂尖嘅五百間企業之中抽出三百到四百個行政總裁嘅面相嚟做研究，發現由面相真係可以睇得出佢哋日後嘅管理成就㗎。So you know we had found that judgments of you know people sort of in their current positions, so current CEOs, current managing partners of law firms, that their faces today would predict how successful they were as leaders in those companies, so how much money their companies or firms were making. But then in a more recent study. We we looked at sort of judgments of these same people before they'd even begun their careers. So we got their university yearbook photos and had people make the same judgments based on those photos that they had made from their current photos. And what we find surprisingly is that their facial appearance when they were graduating from university predicts their success as a leader today. Wu 教授嘅研究表明，一般面相比较成熟，例如眉骨同埋颧骨向前凸起嘅人。喺管理才能方面會比較突出，相反面上俾人感覺唔係咁成熟，即係我哋俗稱嘅 baby face 嘅人咧，佢哋喺管理才能方面就冇咁突出啦。So、a round face would be sort of perceived as babyish,、um, you know, faces with you know people with large eyes,、uh, with distance between their eyes and eyebrows.、Um, the greater the distance, the more babyish they appear, and sort of flat cheeks, so people who don't have sort of you know prominent cheekbones, but rather have it sort of smoothed out. 好似左邊呢一個面相就比較成熟，佢嘅下鄂骨比較突出，下巴嘅輪廓比較明顯，雙眼同眉毛之間嘅距離又好短，而且眉骨突出，呢一啲都係面相成熟嘅特徵嚟。具有呢一種面相嘅人喺管理才能方面會相對好啲，因為大眾會比較聽從呢一類人嘅説話。相反，右邊嘅呢一個因為面相唔夠成熟，大眾對佢嘅敬畏程度唔高，自然冇咁聽佢講。He has, as I mentioned before, a large distance between his eyes and eyebrows here,、uh, which makes him seem more approachable, a little bit more babyish. He also has sort of a large, broad forehead, which again looks a bit more babyish. Her eyebrows have been. 好似美国现任第一夫人 Michelle Obama， 佢嘅颧骨非常突出，系一副有管理才能嘅面相。I've noticed that she does tend to have fairly prominent cheekbones,、um, particularly. For what you generally expect from a woman's face, so in that case again, she has a lot of sort of the, the structural features that you would associate with being perceived as powerful, and I think that you know people would take her quite seriously as a leader. 睇翻中国传统嘅面相学啊，颧骨高亦都代表一个人有权势。照咁睇，中外相学似乎有异曲同工之妙喎。不過 ，Lu 教授就話，因為東西方文化差異，佢研究嘅呢一套面相學未必完全適用於東方社會。In cross-cultural work, we found that powerful traits, so dominance, competence, predict who gets elected、um, in the U.S. and Canada.、Um, whereas in Japan,、um, in our study, we found that the opposite is true. So people who are warm, who are perceived as more likable, more trustworthy, so people with more babyish faces are actually Much more likely to get elected in Japan than they are、um, in the U.S. Generally, you know, it's best to be someone. 于是记者就攞咗啲华人熟悉，但系 Lu 教授又唔识嘅华裔名人相片俾佢分析，睇下西方上学放喺东方面孔又会测成点样。好似当年西安事变策划人之一嘅张学良将军 ，Lu 教授一睇就话佢具有管理天分啦。Even though it's relatively round along here, along this curve. Um, it's really coming to sort of more of a point there. His hairline along his forehead is kind of squaring off the top of his head, and again, more angular features of the face are associated with greater power, greater dominance. In a photograph. 另外，香港富商李嘉诚同埋现任香港大学校长徐立之，卢教授完全唔知两个人嘅背景，但系从面相嚟睇，都觉得两个人有管理才能喎。His eyes are quite small. Which would be an advantage in being seen、um, as a leader. You can see these lines right here under his cheekbones, this sort of shading there and here, showing that his cheekbones are actually quite prominent.、Um, also, the space between his eyes and brows,、um, a little bit on the smaller side for many、uh, Asian men, and his chin here is a really great example of sort of being something that's broad and squared off. So you can see, you know, there are very defined contours here at the bottom of his chin. So again, these would be things、um, that are associated with sort of perceptions of, of strong leadership. 虽然话 Lu 教授嘅呢一套唔系百分之百啱东方人，但系又睇得几准，可能真系相由心生啦。
顾教授目前嘅研究主要系通过做问卷调查嘅方式进行，佢将大企业行政总裁嘅相俾二十到三十个受访者，根据第一印象嚟感觉相中人管理公司成唔成功，由一到七分嚟比分，一分系唔成功，七分就系好成功。喺问卷做完之后，佢仲会问被访者识唔识得头先相入边啲人。只有被访者话唔识，佢哋先会统计呢一份问卷。如果认识嘅话，问卷就会作废。Yu 教授嘅研究系多伦多大学社会心理学研究课题嘅一部分，主要系研究人嘅认知同埋感知能力。究竟社会对一个人面上嘅认知，对佢日后嘅成功有冇关系？事实上，睇上对于华人嚟讲一啲都唔陌生，而喺西方社会一样有专业睇上嘅师傅。Goss 之前系一名电视节目主持人，后来因为采访咗一名睇面相嘅嘉宾，之后就开始研究面相。几个月之前，安省市政公职选举期间，多伦多太阳报都有请 Goss 去点评各位市长候选人嘅面相。再过多个几礼拜，加拿大又喺五月二号进行联邦大选啦。哥对于目前加拿大联邦政府五个主要政党嘅党徽面上都有佢独特嘅睇法。Hairline is pretty square. If you look at the hairline just from here to here, I would say that once Stephen Harper has something in his mind and he's had enough, he's going to make his decision and that's it. Stop. No more talking. His word is final. His hairline. It rises up to the left. In this case, he does seem to process things in more of an emotional way too. So he's very centered. He's very focused. Go back up to his eyebrows for a moment. See how the weight of the eyebrow is. Most of the hair is in the middle here. He's that considering this is how he's focusing. 而自由党党魁叶礼庭因为法制线比较高，讲明呢一个人思维比较开放，中意听取其他人嘅意见。But we take a look at his eyebrows, and of course, everybody often comments about this. First of all, we see a lot of、uh, it, they're very thick and bushy,、uh, very enthusiastic. What he's thinking about and how he's going to deliver it is with enthusiasm. The eyes are the window to the soul. So if your eyes are wide open, sometimes you end up getting too much information. And he's measuring all the time. If you really want to get into his close world, it will take you a little while because he's going to measure you before you get in there. He protects that. 而新民主党党魁林顿就系一个有创意嘅人。Wide open here, so that means he's going to take in some new ideas. He's also got a very, you see those lines that are across his forehead? He's having two or three conversations at any particular time. He's very busy in his brain. Look at his eyes. The eyes that come down here, these say that I'm empathetic and sympathetic to you, and I'm going to listen to you. Con men, and I'm not saying he's one, but this is not, and he isn't. I'm not saying that. But anybody that really is able to take somebody,、uh, win somebody over. Often have these kind of eyes. They're like kind of sad eyes, and we trust them. From this picture, we can see the Liberal Party leader Doug Ford smiling and smiling at the camera. What kind of smile is that? What does it mean? So it's interesting. The upper lip is about our sensuality and sensuality or sensory to ourselves, and how we are dealing with our inner communication. In this case,、um, uh, during the war years, we knew that there was a terminology called.、Um, And before that, it was always like a British statement: "Have a stiff upper lip. Don't tell me what's bothering you.、Uh, hold on to it. Don't complaining. Don't be a wimp." So we learned to hold our stiff upper lip. Well, in this case, I think if we asked Jill Decep what was really driving inside of him at a personal level, we'd be hard pressed for him to deliver it to us.、Um, by the way, Jim Flaherty's upper lip is the same way too. 至于唯一嘅女候选人绿党党魁美伊，教授话佢应该转一转发型啦。If her hair stays like this in a peaked way,、um, at a certain point in time, it's going to be she's going to be less open-minded. She'll listen, 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 and then finally form her opinion. And it's framing it off. And the more the hair overhangs the forehead, it actually is old thoughts and old ideas that sort of sit there and are predominant in the processing of information. So I would say if she wore her hair like this all the time, I would say, man, she's not listening to new information and she's filtering it through old information, and then it takes a while to get through. So that's why we sometimes see women when they go into the boardrooms because they want to bring their full game.、Uh, they pull their hair back into a ponytail and leave all these zones open. Sandra is a former research scientist and consultant. Because she meets people, she also draws on her own experience to come up with her own way of seeing the world. Say, for instance, even a stockbroker having their ear a little bit closer down, because they would have the ear to the ground. They would be looking at stock tips. They would know the inside scoop. So those are some helpful things. 
Now, if a person doesn't have ears to the ground, it doesn't mean that they're not a good stockbroker, but that might be helpful to this particular job. If we're looking at a nurse, a nurse typically um, we'd want to have someone that is caring. So I would be looking at, say, someone that has a bit more of a rounder face. 他表示所有人块面都可以分为两边来看而突顯自己剛陽的一面另外在站姿方面下巴要轻微向下低